Hey, it's Joshua Vergara. What's going on, everybody? And this is the Google Pixel Book in our hands-on at the event in San Francisco. Now, Google released a ton of new hardware, but what we see here is the Pixel Book, their newest version of a laptop line that uses Chrome OS. However, you could say that this Pixel Book is the one that's really trying to break it into the mainstream. It's a 12.3-inch foldable laptop that runs Chrome OS but has full support for the Google Play Store, which means that all of the Play Store applications you might already enjoy on your Android smartphone phone can be used on this laptop, and that includes applications like Adobe Photoshop Lightroom Mobile and also Snapchat, so you can use the camera on this laptop in order to do some pretty amazing snaps when you use what is bundled with it, the Pixel Pen. Now, the Pixel Pen does allow the Pixel Book to have a little bit more of a creative application. However, the Google Assistant is still, like with all of the other products, at the helm of this product. Even a button dedicated to launching the Google Assistant is found on the Pixel Book, and it allows for basically the usage of Google Assistant the way you would use it in any other apparatus. You would bring it up, ask it a question using the built in microphones, and then you would get your answers. But using the Pixel Pen, you would actually be able to not only select text and be able to bring that into the Google Google Assistant, but you can actually circle just about anything on the screen and be able to search for it using Google's own search algorithms. You can see in this example that we circled even just a picture of Ryan Gosling from a recent movie poster, and it showed us that it was Blade Runner 2049. And you can do that with pretty much anything on the internet if you need to figure out just what the heck you're looking at. But what really gives the Pixelbook a ton of capabilities is its convertible nature. When closed, you get a great look at the wonderful design that comes in at only 2.4 pounds and it's an incredibly thin laptop, but you also get a look at the design language that you would see in a regular Pixel with that glass panel at the top. Open it up and you can use the device as a traditional laptop. Fold it all the way back and you would be able to use it like a tablet, which is handy when you have the Pixel Pen. Or you can just fold it back maybe 80% of the way and put it in what we would call the tent formation. It's also no slouch in the spec department. The baseline model is running the Intel KB Lake Core i5 processor, and there is one with an i7 processor with 8GB of RAM and 128GB of onboard storage that is expandable to up to half a terabyte. Not that you're going to need that much since Chrome OS mostly lives in the cloud. Overall, the Pixelbook looks like the Chrome OS laptop to beat, especially with its very sleek form factor and its convertible nature. We will take a look at it in the future when a full unit arrives with us, and we'll give you our full review somewhere here on Android Authority. Keep it tuned to Android Authority for all of the best from the Google event here in San Francisco, including our hands-on with the Google Pixel 2 and the Pixel 2 XL. And then remember to bring it on back here for more, because we are your source for all things Android.